to start the interview could you please uh, give me a, like uh, give us a brief introduction about yourself okay so as you said you are working as the end user so what are the activities in sap that you are performing as a end user actually uh, i am what uh, the, the activity i am working uh, like i am giving the cheer and the goods receipt the goods issue to the uh, to the uh, production department uh, the material to the production department and i am also responsible for uh, uh, giving reservations also and sometimes the uh, job order for maintenance also this type of various uh, activity is there in uh, my organization uh, to to uh, run the whole system in sap we have to do this actually mm -hmm. so in your uh, like day to day activity during performing these activities whatever the issues that you have faced like uh, any any kind of regular issues or any kind of uh, let's say major issues you have faced during this uh, sap operations uh SAP operations, uh, we have faced the issue actually. Uh, why, uh, actually, in production, we are responsible for making the daily reports. Okay. Yeah. And that daily reports, we have to uh, enter in net gross cap or net cap in daily basis uh, and the raw material consumption also in SAP. Okay. By entering the transaction CO top 11. Okay. So, yeah. so there are the uh, various units of measures are there. Okay. Yeah. Like the raw material we are consuming, uh, uh, sometimes uh, like oil, like process oil we are giving sometimes. So in raw material used, so in daily basis. So there is a unit of liter there, and I have made a mistake of uh, giving giving that uh, KL. Okay, that time the whole process, whole raw material I have to reverse. Okay, mm -hmm. and then again I have to give that. A process oil quantity uh, again i have to put it again this type of issue this type of issue is regular issues so, and now now uh, a few days ago there is a customization uh, in uh, doing overtime in worker there is a customization page okay the sap has provided as a customization page to book the ot overtime incentive okay. mm -hmm. so uh, sap has worked on uh, pwc has worked on it and while doing this uh, transaction, uh, the customization transaction, uh, first day, uh, there is a problem of uh, uh, not showing what time displaying page. The display page, displaying page was not showing. When I'm booking, I have booked the overtime, but the display page was not showing. Okay. After that, um, one, one day back, one day uh, later, I have seen that they are they have done some customization to, the, to that page and now it is working fine okay mm -hmm. so uh, this is this type of issues uh, i have faced till now okay okay so going forward uh, do mm -hmm. you know what is a p2p cycle in uh, sap sap mm what is a p2p cycle yes sir actually uh, the P2P cycle starts with purchase requisition and uh, the department of the plant or any plant, there are various types of department. Anybody can raise the purchase requisition uh, uh, and for a particular material, okay? For a particular material or for some materials and they raise the PR to the purchase uh, department they want they want the material for their department mm -hmm. and uh, if there is a selected vendor for that uh, material then the purchase officer is uh, raising the po against that purchase requisition okay mm -hmm. after that uh, the on the material arrives in the department or in the plant and that uh, uh, the purchase officer, the store, uh, the store person is uh, doing the MIGO operation, MIGO operation, the, while doing the good receipt. And then after that, uh, 
we do the invoice receipt for that. Okay. And another process is, uh, if there is not any selection selected vendor for that particular material, mm -hmm. then we have to uh, give the RFQ request for quotation, go for RFQ, and to select the particular vendor who is providing the material uh, at a reasonable price. Okay, and the the and the reasonable price and the terms and conditions are also very good with that vendor. Okay, so. After uh, doing the request for quotation, after selecting the vendor, uh, we are uh, we are providing the purchaser to that vendor and to that particular vendor, and reject the other vendors and provide the and sending the rejection letter to the other vendors. Okay, so now in this PO, we are creating the purchase order against uh, the RFQ request for quotation, and the uh, and the uh, Remaining process even the same uh, while doing the same transaction, my and uh, my door. Okay. And uh, in case of some uh, in case of some uh, material, in case of several material, where the terms and conditions are good with the vendor, there is no change uh, in tax code or any uh, manual invoice reduction or planned or unplanned uh, invoices. If uh, uh, while in some transaction, uh, some cases we are doing. Uh, uh, e uh, ERS procedure to minimize the idle time, inversing time. Okay. So as you have said, um, like you are going to send the rejection letter to the vendors. So how you mm -hmm. are going to send the rejection letter to the vendors? Actually, uh, uh, we have to, uh, in RFQ process, uh, there is a uh, code called ME47 the, uh, mm -hmm. that is maintain quotation. Okay. Mm -hmm. After maintaining quotation, there is a rejection indicator. Okay. Uh, for that vendor. And uh, after that, uh, uh, the uh, after that, by message of put, uh, we send the rejection letter to the vendor for the uh, for that particular the, vendor. What is the output type for this uh, rejection letter? Output type is uh, message yes, type or output type. So for purchase uh, order, any use for uh, sir, I can't recollect at this moment. Any use okay. is the part purchase order. Okay. Okay. So coming to um, next part. Do you know some uh, special procurement type also? Actually, uh, we are using in this uh, industry is uh, consignment process mm -hmm. and uh, subcontracting process also. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, the pipeline process we are using this type type of procurement in our industry. Okay, mm -hmm. so, uh, and so, the normal procurement. So what industries. what is a what is a subcontracting process? Can you explain the process? In subcontracting process, we are providing raw materials to the vendor. Uh, the vendor, with the help of the raw materials, the vendor makes the same finished or finished product and uh, return back the same finished or finished product to us. And after that, we are uh, doing the goods receipt for that product. Okay, and the raw material we have provided to the vendor is get consumed during uh, I am doing the goods receipt for that. Okay. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, and uh, after uh, some, uh, there is uh, at first, uh, so, uh, sorry sir, first of all, uh, we have to create a uh, subcontracting info record for that. Okay. Uh, if I want to settle the vendor in uh, uh, if I want to settle that vendor in uh, uh, in uh, sorry sir, on it, I am on. Yeah. If we want to settle that vendor in invoicing, invoicing ERA settlement. Okay, so uh, I have to uh, give subcontracting info report. Okay, and um, we are providing uh, raw material to the vendor by the movement time five forty one. Okay, 
and the material con consumed with the movement type 543 okay and if we are if we are uh, required to uh, take back the goods from the vendor okay provide goods from vendor we are doing sometimes the subsequent adjustment also okay yeah. so do you know what what uh, like uh, what is the accounting entries for this subcontracting uh, goods receipt in subcontracting uh, goods receipt uh, the accounting entries are this uh, uh, accounting entries the uh, bsx uh, will be uh, debited Okay, and uh, while uh, we are providing raw materials to the vendor, the uh, at the I'm time asked, of providing raw materials, I'm asking Hello. about the GR process. Okay, you are asking about the GR process. Uh, so uh, BSX would be uh, debited, sir. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, uh, subcontracting account uh, BSB will be credited. Mm -hmm and uh, subcontracting uh, services frl will be frl subcontracting services frl will be debited sir and gri and wrx will be credited and while while i am doing the goods provided to vendor uh, that is all another account also uh, uh, vbo vbo account modified vbo will be credited sir video bbx uh, this four account five rounds are there sir. okay four okay so do you know what is the physical inventory have you any time have you done or uh, you know the process what is the physical inventory yes sir yes sir actually the physical inventory is the process of uh uh, making the SAP stock and the physical stock in the plant uh, same. Okay, uh, the quantity remains the same for both the issue. If I don't mention any tolerances there, okay. So, in physical inventory, uh, we have to create the document, physical inventory document first uh, by using the transaction MI01. Okay, then we have to print that document. And give to the document to the store person, okay, by the transaction MI21. And you have to uh, enter the count, uh, enter the count, and after after printing the document, we have to provide the document to the store person, and they enter the count there by the transaction MI07 and MI04, and they are posting the differences then that. By MI07. In this process, we are using uh, Facebook inventory and post in uh, post uh, post in block. Okay, because are there. We are uh, maximum time we are using the posting blocks uh, that that the GRIR cannot be posted, so that the inventory count uh, inventory count is proper. Okay, and in the movement uh, in this type of uh, when I while doing the while doing the inventory posting, uh, there are movement times 701 and 702. 701 is used for uh, positive differences and 702 is used for negative differences. And there are also other types of physical inventory uh, in this process, uh, like cycle counting, periodic inventory. While doing this, there are several transaction code, but in like cycle uh, uh, counting process, you have to Mention cycle indicator in material master. Okay, and uh, this is uh, this is the uh, uh, there is a uh, we have to create the physical inventory document in the same process, but the tangents are not different. Sir. Okay, so do you have any idea on uh, SAP implementation process? No, sir. I am giving support to. Uh, Actually, no, I have no, actually I have an idea of implementation project, but mm -hmm. I have 
not gone with this i have the idea of support project sir okay so that's all about the interview let's finish this तो आज का जो इंटरव्यू था इंटरव्यू सेशन वो ये मान के चलो ये तुम्हारा इंटरव्यू सेशन जो था ये मतलब नॉट अप टू दैट मार्क ओके पहला चीज फर्स्ट चीज एक मिनट पहला चीज जब इंट्रोडक्शन दे रहे हो ओके इंट्रोडक्शन जब दे रहे हो इंट्रोडक्शन अपना प्रिपेयर करो जो भी इंट्रोडक्शन देना है इंट्रोडक्शन अगर अच्छा गया फिर उसके बाद थोड़ा सा चीजें जो है वो इजी हो जाता है ठीक है तो इंट्रोडक्शन अपना एक फेयर इंट्रोडक्शन सिद्धांत नवनिल बोथ इन दोनों को बोल रहा हूँ तो अपना इंट्रोडक्शन जो है वो प्रिपेयर करो सही से कैसे इंट्रोडक्शन देना है इंट्रोडक्शन में क्या रहना चाहिए Okay. तुमको अगर कोई पूछ रहा है कि नवोनील अपना इंट्रोडक्शन दो उसको ऑलरेडी तुम्हारा नाम पता है ओके okay. उसके बाद okay. तुमको बोलना नहीं है कि माय नेम इज नवोनील और माय सेल्फ इज नवोनील कुछ भी नहीं बोलना है ठीक है okay. तो तुम अपना एजुकेशनल बैकग्राउंड से शुरू कर सकते हो कि एजुकेशन क्या लिया था कब लिया था कुछ भी बोल सकते हो ठीक है एजुकेशन हो गया एजुकेशन के बाद तुम्हारा प्रोफाइल हो गया जॉब प्रोफाइल हो गया कहाँ पे काम करते हो क्या काम करते हो एंड okay. uh, उसके बाद तुम जो भी फील्ड में स्ट्रॉन्ग uh, हो सपोज एस uh, के लिए तुम इंटरव्यू दे रहे हो तो एस में कौन से कौन से फील्ड के ऊपर तुम्हारा तुमने काम किया है या तो तुम स्ट्रॉन्ग हो okay. वो सारा चीज उस पर इंक्लूड कर सकते हो ठीक है उतना तुम्हारा इंट्रोडक्शन में रहना चाहिए ओके ओके कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट उसके बाद जो भी तुम्हारा एक्चुअली मेरे पास तुम्हारा रिज्यूम नहीं था तो मैंने एक ओवरऑल जो इंटरव्यू था उसके ऊपर एक क्वेश्चन पूछा ठीक है तो बेसिकली तुमको पी टू पी साइकिल के ऊपर क्वेश्चन आएगा या फिर जो भी हमने जैसा स्पेशल प्रोक्योरमेंट टाइप हो गया फिर उसके बाद जो तुम्हारा हो गया क्या कॉन्साइनमेंट जो भी स्पेशल प्रोक्योरमेंट टाइप हो गया वो उन सारे के ऊपर तुमको क्वेश्चन आएगा ठीक है तो उसके बाद क्या होता है जो भी क्वेश्चन आएगा क्वेश्चन का आंसर देते टाइम कभी भी हिचकिचाना मत ठीक है जो तुम पॉज ले रहे हो ये कर रहे हो उसको मत करना क्वेश्चन एक बार सुनो समझो अगर तुमको उस टाइम में पॉज लेना है जब तुम आंसर दे रहे हो देने से पहले थोड़ा सा पॉज ले लो क्या बोलना है एक बार में समझ लो ठीक है उसके बाद तुम अपना आंसर देना शुरू करो ठीक है और मैक्सिमम uh, ट्राई करो कि आंसर देने के टाइम में जितना कम पॉज ले सको उतना अच्छा है ठीक है जिसे रुक रुक के आंसर अच्छा। दे रहे हो ना उतना अच्छा है एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग इज जो भी पूछा जाए उसका पॉइंट टू पॉइंट आंसर दो जैसे तुम जैसे आंसर दे रहे थे घुमा फिरा के सारा चीज जो है उसके अंदर आंसर दे रहे थे ठीक है तो पॉइंट टू पॉइंट आंसर देने के लिए कोशिश करो जैसे कि अगर तुमको कोई पूछ रहा है कि पीटूपी साइकिल क्या होता है ठीक है पीटूपी साइकिल में क्या क्या होता है पी आर टू जी आर प्रोसेस जी आर और आई आर प्रोसेस तक का होता है उस पर एक रहता है वेंडर नोन एक रहता है वेंडर और नोन ठीक है तो उसके हिसाब से तुमको बताना है ठीक है उसके बाद आता है तुम्हारा इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड सपोर्ट पार्ट ठीक है इम्प्लीमेंटेशन में अगर तुम्हारा इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सपोज तुम जिसके लिए इंटरव्यू के लिए प्रिपेयर किए हो अगर उसका इम्प्लीमेंटेशन का रिक्वायरमेंट है ठीक है अगर उसका इम्प्लीमेंटेशन का रिक्वायरमेंट है तो उसको कभी मत बोलना कि मुझे इम्प्लीमेंटेशन का एक्सपीरियंस नहीं है बोलो आई नो द प्रोसेस ओके कभी मत बोलना के नो आई डोंट नो उसको बोलो आई नो द प्रोसेस ओके मैंने काम नहीं किया है बट आई नो द प्रोसेस Okay. अगर तुमने इम्प्लीमेंटेशन okay. का एक्सपीरियंस नहीं डाला है तब भी तुम okay. बता सकते हो ओके आई नो द प्रोसेस आई हैवेंट वर्क मीन्स आई डोंट आई डिट गेट चांस और आई डोंट हैव अ चांस टू वर्क ऑन द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन प्रोसेस बट आई नो द प्रोसेस ओके ये बता सकते हो 